Hey guys, what's up? I'm going to be doing a video today on how to fly a DJI Phantom st 3 standard. So let's get into it. So first of all, you need to make sure your batteries are all charged to almost 100% or to a 100%. See, I have them both on my remote and whatever. On my remote and my drone itself, okay? And then so to get the drone in the air, you need to turn on the drone. Just like that. You just gotta hold the button. You just gotta press it and then hold the button down. It'll do its whole startup sequence. And you gotta turn on the remote. And then you gotta open up your iPad or whatever you're, you're going, whatever you're uh, using it on. You gotta go to your settings, and if it'll open. You gotta go to Wi-Fi. And then find your drone's Wi-Fi. So see right there, Phantom 3 underscore 2, 5, all that. You got to put in the password. Now, the default password for all DJI Phantom stuff until you change it is 1234-1234. And then you just click Join. And it'll connect you to the drone's Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi. So after that, you head over to your DJI Go app. The DJI Go app if some of you don't know is like something that you need to use with all the fan, with all the DJI products cuz I'll show you when we get in when we get into the app when it opens as after a while of trying to get this app open I finally did and when you first download the app and go into it, you'll have to read all these terms of use. You don't really have to. You can just hit accept. And then if you're and then if you're connected to your drone, it should just auto it should just auto bring it to like what your drone is. Sorry for that car. And then you just hit camera. And then if you need the safety tutorial if you're a first time flyer, I don't really, I don't need it because I've been flying for a while now. As you can see, some of the other videos on my channel. Okay, so there, this is where you can see your live feed. See, I could, if I just roll this joystick, I can. The gimbal will move. If you can see that. And uh. Um, okay, so we're good. Now, the manual way to start the motors is you go like this, and if you can hear, the, the motors are actually starting spinning just from me doing that little two button, I don't know what they call it, like this two stick like thing, but if you want to turn off the motors, or you go like this, and just hold it straight down for two seconds and then the motors will turn off but if you don't really feel like manually taking it off you can just, just, I'll just get it away from the camera a little bit so you guys can see you can hit this then slide over for takeoff and it'll take and it'll take off and it'll just sit there and hover till you do stuff till you do something with it so, to go up, you take the left stick unless you have the di unless you have it differently. And to go up, you just take this stick and you go up. See? And then to go down, you go like that to drop it down. And then to rotate to the left, you hold you go like this. See how it's rotating? There you can see us. And then to rotate it the opposite way, to go to the right, you just take the stick and you go the other way. Now to go forward, you take the right stick, so your right hand, and you just move that stick forward, and it'll bring it forward for you. And then, as you can see, I just went back, and to go back, it's pretty self-explanatory. From going forward, you just take this stick and go back. And then to go like right, you go like that, and then to go to the left, you just kind of opposite that way. 
And then so, if you want to, there's a lot of there's a lot of cool features with this drone. You uh, you can uh, there's a return to home sequence. So, say I just like fly away. I don't, I don't know if you guys can see on the camera, but there I am right there. Little focus. But anyway, that, oh, there it is. Now see, that's my drone. And that's way far away. So, to bring it back, you hit this, you hit the return to home sequence, and then you slide over, and then it, and then it will come back. And I'm not, and I won't even touch the controller, and it'll come back to us. See, you can see us. It's starting to get a little bit more clearer. It's coming right down. Still not touching it, and it'll just land just like that. It's it's pretty cool, honestly. And then it'll turn off the motors and everything. So now there's these there's multiple flight modes that you could do, and uh, like there's follow me, there's the follow me function. Um, there's like aerial function to where it like. There's like aerial function to where it like goes like and you just choose the radius and it just flies around where the remote control is. And then in the follow me it's the, it follows the remote so say if you're on like a truck in a truck and then you just start driving and and you get it up to a certain height to where it's not going to hit anything, it'll just follow the remote. And I have some footage off of a follow off of the follow me on one of my other videos. It was my last my outdoor edit that I have my last video. So Go, go go watch that and then so there's not really you see you can come in here into this and go to there's controller settings you can have all this you can put it into beginner mode to where it only to where you can only go like 30 meters away from you you could set how high it can go how far it can go um advanced settings you can set to like what it does when it um, when the remote controller signal is lost, um, the controller settings you can, you can control, you can calibrate the remote. You can choose the stick mode. So if you're like a lefty, you can change the stick. So the so everything that would be on this controller would be over here, and everything on this controller would be over here. And then what else is there? You can go to see how good your Wi-Fi is. It shows all the stuff for the battery, like shows you how it shows you how what the temperature of the battery is. See that? Right now it's 22 degrees Celsius because it's pretty cold outside. I don't know if you can tell. See my hands are like shaking a little bit. And then you can go to cam camera settings, gimbal mode. Um, you just got all you just got all these settings, and then if you want to choose like. So yeah, I'm just gonna pretty much just be flying and filming the sunset. Okay, well anyway, I'm pretty much just gonna be flying and filming the sunset, I guess. There's not really much of a sunset left, but I'll get some flying clips for you to add to the end of this. Uh, to the end of this how-to, basically. So I'll catch you guys in the outro. Guys, look at this. I am over all the way over by the smokestack that's a couple blocks away from my house. You could probably, you, uh, yeah, actually, you can see. You could see it right there. You could see it right there. See, that's the smokestack, and I'm right there. So. Yeah, that's me. And then
Here's our live feed. It's saying weak com remote controller signal. That's insane. And I am currently 116 meters away from us. So I'm just gonna just get a few shots. And uh, just kind of get some panning shots of the kind of like this. Just kind of the landscape around me a little bit. There's our train station. Sorry for all the cars, guys. I'm in the middle of the street. But yeah, see? There's the smokestack. There's just the little town I live in, pretty much. From a view of up above. Let's see. Let's see how high this puppy can go. So let's just go straight up. Now I think it's in metric right now. I should actually change that to where it's in feet. There we go. Yeah, see, I'm in feet now. Sorry, I mean, not to hate on any of you guys uh, that use meters and all that. Now see this is, now if you look really closely you can see us, we're like right here. And then, just kind of look around. This is the Forest Service building that's right there. And uh, what else is there? There's this right here, is the church that's right there. And then, right here is the uh, our place that's a couple blocks up from my house. So, I just want to thank you guys very much for uh, just watching my videos and subscribing. Oh, I lost feed for a second. I got scared. But anyway, I just want to thank you guys for watching my videos and subscribing. I know I'm not 100% good, but I just got a new camera. It's a Canon PowerShot SX. 260 HS and I've been film I'm going to start filming videos on that. And then I should be getting another Canon camera very soon. And then pretty much I'll just be filming videos on that until I can upgrade. With me being a kid, I just don't really uh, drones right above us. Anyway, I just with me being a kid, I have to make money to buy some stuff for to film videos with. So, I just want to thank you guys for watching, and subscribe, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and peace.